हाय एवरीवन वेलकम टू योर चैनल इंपल्स टेक आई एम योगेश बावने सो दिस इज द सेकंड एपिसोड ऑफ द सीरीज व्हिच इज गेटिंग स्टार्टेड ऑन माइक्रो पाइथन यूजिंग द रेस्बरी पाई पिको सो लेट्स सी व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस वीडियो सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू इंटरफेस द एनालॉग सेंसर्स विद द रेस्बरी बाई पिको विल सी हाउ वी आर एबल टू रीड द एनालॉग सेंसर्स डेटा एंड विल प्लॉट द सेम एनालॉग सेंसर्स डेटा ऑन टू द शेल ऑफ द Thony ID. Also, we are going to interface the light sensor and the potentiometer with the Raspberry Pi Pico in order to get the data. So basically, potentiometer will give us the analog data, and also light sensor will give us the analog data. So we'll read both the data, and we'll see how we are able to interface the analog sensors with the Raspberry Pi Pico using the Micro Python. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first of all, we'll see the circuit diagram of this project. how the circuit diagram of this project looks and what are the different components you need to use in this circuit diagram and let's see what are the different components you need while making this project so here you can see i have used here one potentiometer and one light sensor now here i have used the light sensor module which has vcc d0 a0 and the ground d0 means digital output a0 means analog output and ground and we see these are the power connections so here you can see the circuit diagram so here let's see how i have connected the light sensor so light sensor vcc of the light sensor is connected to the 3v3 of the raspberry pi pico and here i am not using the digital output of the light sensor here i am trying to read the analog sensor's data now here i am using the a0 and i have connected a0 to the gpio 27 Now I will explain you why I have used the GPIO 27. So if you see the pinout of the Raspberry Pi Pico board, then you will find so these are the analog pins which are available with the Raspberry Pi Pico board. So it starts from AD, ADC 0 to ADC 2. Here you can see. So ADC 0, ADC 1, and ADC 2. So these are the analog pins that we can use. So that's why I have used here GPIO 27 for the light sensor. Now this is the connection for light sensor. now we'll connect the potentiometer in a same way because potentiometer also gives us the analog output so that's why i have connected the potentiometer's analog output pin which is the middle one pin to the gpio 26 as i have already shown you the pin out of the raspberry pi pico in that pin out we know that the adc 0 is gpio 26 and adc 1 is basically gpio 27 so these two gpio pins that is these two analog pins we need to use in order to read the light sensor and the potentiometer data here once again you can see the potentiometer one terminal is connected to the 3v3 and the another terminal of the potentiometer is connected to the ground pin ground of the led is connected to the ground and the positive of the led is connected to the gpio 15 of the raspberry pi pico so why i have connected the led because i wanted to create a project where i can show you that when there is no sunlight we can automatically turn this led on based on the light sensor's data This is basically a small project that I wanted to build here. The main objective of this video is to learn about how to read the analog sensor's data using the Micro Python with the Raspberry Pi Pico board. So let's see how we are going to write the code in Micro Python. Here we need to import the pins from the machine. So I'll write from machine import. This P should be capital pin from a EDC. here i'm also so here i'm also inputting the adc pins that means the analog pins also we need to import the time as well so here i'll import the time that means we have to use this time in order to give the delay in the program now i wanted to define the pin for the potentiometer so here i'm using the gpio 26 for the potentiometer's analog data so here i'll write for underscore value is equal to here you need to provide that this pin is adc pin so that's why i'll write adc under here inside it you need to write pin 26 here we are using the gpi 26 that is adc 0 now we wanted to print the data of the potentiometer onto the serial monitor or i can say the shell basically basically in arduino programming what we used to say we used to say the serial monitor 
where we where we used to see the data of the sensors but here we used to call shell and i'll write here how we can able to print the data onto the shell continuously so i'll write print opening closing bracket and inside the print i'll write the variable name which is like pot underscore value dot read underscore 16 here I need to write u basically for the microcontroller purpose u16 and opening closing bracket inside it and also we need to provide the delay time dot sleep so this is the simple line of code that you need to write in order to read the analog data given by the potentiometer now I haven't saved this file so let's run this code so first I'll stop the previous code I have used and just run this code. Now it will ask you where you wanted to save this file. So I wanted to save this file on Raspberry Pi Pico. I'll save this. But make sure that you should give the name like this. So I'll give the name as like analog demo dot py. Make sure that you should give the uh, you should rename the file using the dot py. So I'll just click on OK. So here I haven't provided the delay time. So what I'll do, I'll just write one. So that's why the error is there. And I'll click on the run once again, the script. Now let's see the script is running or not. Now you can see I can successfully able to print the data onto the shell. So on my screen, you can see that I'm rotating the knob of the potentiometer and you can see the data is changing. So this is the maximum analog data you can get from the potentiometer. So now I have a question for you guys. So why I am getting these values like 65535? So just comment, uh, just, just comment down this answer. Like why I am getting this value like 65535. So this is the highest value that I am getting. So just comment down your answer like why I am getting these values. Now I am just trying to rotate it on the left side and let's make it zero now. So this is the this is the uh, so this is the lowest value that I can get, which is like 272 or 288 something. So now this is how we can able to read the analog data given by the potentiometer. Now let's see how we can able to print this data in a graph form. How we can do that? So I'll just stop this code and now I'll go to the view. Now in the view you can see there is option called plotter. So if you click on plotter, now you can see the sensor data. And I, what I do, so now if you click on plotter, you can see the sensor data in graph form. So what I'll do, I'll just click on run once again. And now you can see, and now you can see the data is changing. So what I'll do, I'll just try to rotate this knob. And you can see, now I'm rotating the knob and you can see changes in the graph as well. So this is how we can able to use the shell as well as the plotter together. Here you can see so if you have used the serial monitor of the Arduino ID then you can see you know that at the same time you can't use serial monitor and the serial plotter but here you can see we are able to use shell as well as the plotter now let's see how we can able to read the light sensors data so now we wanted to read the light sensors data as I explained to you in the circuit diagram the light sensor is connected to the GPIO 27 that means ADC 1 so basically if I clicked on this run command, it won't work. You can see the random analog data, which is not true data. If you can see the graph as well, this is not a true data. So now I'll just change this GPIO 26 to 27 and let's see the actual data. Now this is the data which is coming from the light sensor. Now you can see here I have used the light sensor. This is the LDR module, which is connected to the GPIO 27. This is very simple connection. Now, if I put my finger on the sensor, you can see the changes in the values as well. Now the value is greater than 45,000. Here you can see. So if I remove my finger, now values are suddenly dropped. If I put my finger, values will suddenly increase. You can see in the graph as well. So if the values are like more than 45,000, that means I have put my finger here. That means there is a darkness and if the values are more than like if the values are less than I can say the 20,000 that means there is a brightness. 
So based on this, we can create a simple automation, which is turning on the LED bulb when there is darkness and turning off LED bulb when there is a brightness. Let's see how we can do that. So now in order to make the smart LED, that means this LED will turn on only when there is a darkness and turn it off when there is a brightness. So what we have to do? So first of all, what I've done, first of all, I've defined the LED. So this LED is basically connected to the pin number 15 of the Raspberry Pi Vico. And here you can see, I have defined this pin as an output pin, that is pin dot out. Now inside this while, uh, while loop, what I've done, I have printing these values. Here you can see on the screen, I'm printing the values of the light sensor data. And now you can see on the cell, these values are standing so rapidly. So that's why I cannot able to see the difference. So we need to provide the delay. Edge. So you can see in the graph, these values are changing so fast. So now here I've created one variable, which is analog data. Now I wanted to store the light sensor data into the variable. So what I've done, I've just used this command, which is pot underscore value dot read u16. So basically this command has the sensor data. So I'm storing it into this variable. Here you can see. Now, now here I'm using the conditional statement now. If analog data, that means this, this variable I'm using here, which is greater than 45, that means I wanted to turn on the LED. For turning on the LED, what we have to use here, LED dot value, and inside that value, you have to write one. That means turn it on. And the same thing, if the analog data is less than 20,000, that means I wanted to turn off the light. That means there is a brightness. So let's see this project is working or not. So here on the screen, you can see, I just trying to put my finger on the sensor and you can see the LED is turning on and off. When there is brightness, LED will off. And when the darkness is there, that means LED will turn on. Here you can see. 